Hey everyone, I'm Captain Force Falcon. Welcome back to Earthbound Randomizer. So, uh, we've got a bit of gear now, so that's nice. I guess we didn't get anything for the body yet, but we'll find something. So we're getting a lot closer to being able to beat this bunch of puke up here, but... Rather than try and do another episode of doing just that again, I think this time we're going to explore the desert. Is that an NPC that's... Oh, I... I wanted to fight that man, but I accidentally went up. Huge! Not you, I'm talking about the dinosaur bones. Oh, we have a UFO. What's he called? The Supplemental Seedling... And the Fecund Alien... Fecund Alien? Fecund? That's one I'm not even sure how to properly pronounce. Um... We never use this one. Let's just try it out. We don't know how much health these guys have. Okay, they're not too bad, though. You could usually kind of... Gosh dang it. Okay, they do hit pretty hard. And the UFO is going to be a bit of a problem just because it, you know, causes colds. Okay. Decent experience. Uh... I guess we'll just test this out. Does Healing Alpha get rid of... Okay, good. Healing Alpha is good enough to get over a cold. Who are you? Shh, don't talk too loud. What do you want? Oh, he's like supposed to be like the guy that's like... You know, super like... <laughs> cool looking and just like... Yeah, I've got what you need. Like, he should be wearing a jacket like sunglasses, but then it's instead he's just like an old man. Oh, we don't have any money. How much does it cost? $298 for a hard hat. That's probably worth it. But we'll need to go to the store to get some. Which is probably gonna be in here. No, it's not. Oh. Oh my gosh. Well done. You've made it. We finally meet Prince Kato. The stars were told that I would meet you here. So now it's the time to show you the way of the Star Storm. Uh, this is bad. I'm gonna stop you even here even if you don't want to. Stay with me for a while, do you understand? Depends on Kato's efforts that will determine the reuniting of the group. Okay, okay, thank gosh. For a minute I was thinking, <laughs> are we gonna just lose one of our party members here? But I guess that what that just means is that if we uh, do the fight, uh, we will get Star Storm. Now is that gonna... that's gonna be in the swamp, right? Who are you talking to? Uh... Who are you? Since I'm dealing with some pretty rough stuff, I can't run my business out of town. Well, we've, we found... we got a shiny coin. Crystal Charm! Now that's really good, isn't it? Like, look at this stuff. This is actually good stuff. Oh man, we can't afford that for everyone though, but... Yeah, I know. Gosh dang it, I need to stop talking to you. Who are you? I'm not sure if it was the Dungeon Man, but there's a strange looking tower to the northwest. This key I picked up a little while ago show... Maybe open the tower, you may have it, I do not need it. So now we can go into the Dungeon Man Tower to the southwest? We could also fight these guys here. It's so weird, because, you know, this is supposed to be, like, the second area, right? And yet it feels like we have access to, like, every major zone, like, in the game. It's kind of ridiculous, like... <laughs> but maybe it's just Earthbound is just so big that there's actually just that many areas that we can go and explore. Also, it's gonna... Hey, hey, you. Everyone is afraid of us. Okay, the plucky rat. And what is that? Are these all like super low enemies though? It's so weird. It's it's so absolutely weird. Sometimes we go and we find enemies that'll like one shot us, and then in other areas we just find these guys that we can just pick right off. Like Like you know, like the hippie right here. The uh oh sorry, the mountain addict. Yeah, these are like guys that we find in like the first area pretty much. Okay, what do we get? Just... 
yeah, just cheap experience. It's not really, not really that useful to us. But we could find the dungeon man down here, right? Oh, somebody has... Kato's gotten sunburnt. Do we need to deal with that right now? Uh, let's... Everything is just like, no, I don't want to deal with you. Also, we might not be able to access the other part of the desert. I feel like... Did we have to, like, go through the, uh... Did, were we, did we actually get there through the pyramid or something? Okay, just a tiny bit of experience. We're just nickel and diming our way up to another level, pretty much. Okay, let's deal with that sunburn. Oh, that that's an enemy. Gosh dang it! <laughs> okay, so the dungeon man is right here. We could enter, but it's locked. But we got a key, right? Use the key to the tower. The key worked to open the door. We can now go inside Dungeon Man, which leads us... Welcome, you are inside of my body. Brick Road. Are we actually in the Dungeon Man? Are those... Uh, oops. My statistics show about 70% of the people go to the right first. Brick Road. Okay, this is an enemy. Now, how strong are these? The Wasted Tengu. Um, I don't... I have a bad feeling about this, so I'm gonna hit him a bit harder, because I just have a feeling that, like he's gonna one-shot us or something. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, w I wasn't wrong. Ugh. Can we even... Like, that should take him out, right? <laughs> Jeffen is just gonna keep falling behind, because Jeffen keeps on dying when we get all these huge experience drops. Like, Paula's now gonna catch up. I mean, it's okay. Jeffen's using a, you know, a Casey bat to make up for it. So 25% of the time, uh, Jeffen is going to be on par. Okay, so everyone is just shooting up in levels. I don't want to go through here if I'm, you know, not getting uh, Jeffen some experience, because, my gosh, I don't want to have just everyone just completely unbalanced. Yeah, because look, Jeff in 16, Paul is up to 19, these guys are up at 23, 24. Uh, Jeff in. That was a dragon. Now we have to. Uh oh. Uh. Okay. Um. We're now trapped in Brick Road. There's a big bottle rock inside. Paula, Paula takes it. And we don't have we don't have anything to bring him back, do we? This is like a different area though, isn't it? Where are we? Also, uh one thing I haven't checked. You cannot teleport here. Cool! We have to actually finish this area off in order to escape. Keep this board in mind, Brick Road. It's a taxi cab. This thing's gonna hit a, hit us hard, isn't it? The plastic vehicle. Okay, you guys, uh... Shoot. Uh, yeah, literally, just shoot. Um, wait, do we... Nobody has the ability to bring anybody back yet, do they? I don't think so. Um, let's see. Yeah, unfortunately not. We need, like, it's healing, uh... Gamma or something, I think. Helene Omega brings them back with full health. Yeah, so we don't have the way to bring uh, Jeff and back right now. Let's just see how... Okay, this might not be too bad a fight, honestly. Oh, but... But Freeze doesn't do anything to it. Oh, that sucks, because that, that makes this a complete waste. But maybe I could use Thunder? Oh, man. Don't... Okay, thank gosh. I did not want to take a hit because I'm just assuming all the time that these things are going to one-shot us. Not so bad. It was only like 1,000 experience that time, so that doesn't mean it was like way above our level. Even though you couldn't get up there now, you might be able to later. Brick Road. Your first goal is to reach the four ropes. 
So we're doing Dungeon Man right now, and uh, place an item at the dead end. You are free to take it whenever you want. Brick Road. I'll open the present. There's a talisman coin inside. What does that do? I don't actually remember what the talisman coin is. Must be equipped as other increases your defense and luck. Who could use that? Uh, Ralph probably could. Kato. Kato, I think, again. Just to test it out, I'm just going to give this to Kato, even though I don't think he can use it. Oh yeah, I got all those calorie sticks, and I'm probably not going to go to any use. Okay, he actually can. Wait. Wait a minute. Why does defense go to zero? That's what it says, right? What did the what was the description on that? Didn't it say like increase? What's it say? Must be equipped as other increases your defense and luck. Well, maybe I could equip it with him, but it just doesn't do anything. Is that how it works? Okay, we're gonna give this to uh, Ralph then. That should work with Ralph, right? Baseball. That works. That really works. Finally, something something with some defense to it. So that means if I were to give, uh, let's see, Kato the, uh, let's see. Yeah, I want the baseball cap. Also, this is like the, yeah, so Kato can't equip anything or it just decreases all his stats. This is like after, the, this is like the post game, isn't it? This is after you've actually beaten Gygas. Oh, hello. Uh, that's a lot of enemies I don't want to deal with. There's so much here. Once a dungeon is built, monsters always start moving in. Brick Road. Yeah, no kidding. It would sure be nice if we could get anything to bring Jeffen back. Oh, a tiny present. Large pizza inside. Cool. So they're easy to get are usually disappointing. Uh, I, I think you're a bit mistaken there. I... Th I don't think you quite understand how it works when you use a randomizer. Let's see... Um, let's take a chance. <laughs> this might be a horrible mistake. It's the Ravaging Cave Boy. Like the, like the music. <laughs> Just a nice groovy beat. Boop, boop, ba da boop. Oh no, it's another one of these ones that freeze doesn't do anything. Um, how about fire? Maybe fire will work. And we'll try thunder. Just to see if anything... Gosh dang it! You had to hit with that. Okay, fire actually works. And he didn't... He wasn't too bad. Okay, but still really good experience. I wonder, the experience is like kind of divided amongst people, so we're kind of giving everyone extra experience because Jeffen's dead, right? Also, I guess one of the benefits is we get to actually play as a dog. <laughs> that is one of the nice things about losing Jeffen. We actually get to, you know, play as the dog, Paula. <laughs> oh, that's an attacking present. Uh, let's check the last rope. Look at the, look at that climbing animation. <laughs> Oh, that's great. I don't... Hey. We look the same. I give you a special thing. Not now. I give you on the way back. Boing. Buy it later. So, boing. You have $380. We trade secret herb. So, boing. You have 100000 We trade horn of life. I wish. Fall in love. Scary, scary guy. Boing. Grapefruit falls. Scary sick. Barf. Go and la la la. Ding dong. Scary. Okay, we're out of... Where... Where are we? Also, doesn't this mean that I kind of might be screwed? Uh, if I can't get back to that previous area? Like, I don't know how far ahead in this I've gotten. Oh, it's a little bit hard. I might want to... Uh... 
I, I could probably take him, though. He's done. Okay, he does hit quite hard. But we at least beat him. Kato's gonna need to heal up, though. Wow. We're so overpowered now that, uh... Yeah, that didn't do enough. Let's see, this will max us out, right? Oh, uh, three of these things. What are they? Two-bit squirts. So these are the guys that uh, I think that he was calling, right? So we're just going to use some... Gosh dang it, really? Oh, that, that is stupid. Really, you guys? All of you? All of you are just like immediately like... Make it so they can't stop crying. Do that immediately. Uh, yeah, just just keep doing that, and we're just gonna hope that they hit. Yeah, these these guys are dumb. Really? Just make it so I can't do anything? Oh, they, they don't hit that hard. We'll just rely on actually RNG to hit here. Yeah, like, this is, like, pathetic damage, and I don't want to waste the PP at the moment. Although it's going to suck. Okay, fine, fine, you really, really just wanted to make this happen, didn't you? Okay, fire it is, burn them all. If I have to, I will, gosh dang well, use the stupid, I will use, I will use the bottle rocket if I have to. Oh, Kato, you actually get hurt quite a bit. Because they were hitting Ralph, that's why it wasn't doing so much damage. Okay, good. It, he hit one of the ones that, uh, you know, wasn't damaged yet. Oh, gosh dang it. We... Does anyone have PP? Anyone here have PP? This is not the fight I want to waste all my PP on, but it's going to happen because they made me... S so I couldn't stop crying, and then they decided, you know... Uh, we're going to call everyone now. Come on. Okay, cool. There's only one. You just need to hit it once. You just need to hit it one time. Literally just one time. Just poke it. Please! Come on. It's like... It's like having everyone equipped with a KC bat, except worse. Okay, fine, I guess we had to hit it more than once. Oh, thank gosh. Oh. Okay, a lot of experience though. <laughs> okay, we can just siphon everyone's PP. We're gonna need that against somebody. There's a ladder here. Oh wait, there's a treasure. Please don't have any enemies spawn here. Oh, that's the that's the mole, isn't it? Uh, what do we got? We've got like no PP is the thing. Like I'm pretty sure like this is like the mole's cave, right? So that I don't want to deal with the cow of third. Who do you want to see, Jeffen? Gosh dang it, we don't have any money. Where's a TM, an ATM when you need it? Okay, we found a next to your sanctuary boss. Right next to the doctors. Paul picked up the receiver. Small house, but please stay the night. Cool. Is, uh... No, Jeff is still dead. <laughs> cool, we need some money, but there's no ATM. So we know where the next boss is, or a next boss. What's this guy gonna be? We seem to be strong. Okay, I'm taking a chance here. That was not a lot of damage. We probably need to use PSI. I'm going to take a chance on recovering PP here, because we desperately need some. 
let's just try a little bit of PP or a little bit of PSI. Maybe we could get a solidify. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, cool. Just drain a little bit. He's not hitting too hard right now. So this seems like a good time to uh, get a little bit back. A psychic shield, that's bad. Let's see, but... Hmm. Oh, Paula's PP is like way better now. Okay, let's just try bashing. Let's just try finishing him off like this. Because we could waste some more PP trying to get the shield to disappear, but we can just, you know, power through it. Also, I did not check Ralph's health, and it was pretty low. Everyone is going to be super high level except for, uh, <laughs> except for Jeffin. So our next goal, I guess, right now is to find an ATM so we can get some money so we can bring Jeffin back from the doctors. And we might also fight this cow. Which I'm assuming is the next year, uh, the next bull boss, and we might fight the next year sanctuary boss. So, what will we do next? Uh, you'll just have to wait and see. So, thank you all so much for watching. Be sore like the amazing falcons you are, and have a wonderful day. Peace out.